Hello everybody, this is Steve from Old Boy Moto. G'day guys and welcome back. I'm going to do something different today. I keep saying that and it usually is different. Look, if you're an old boy like me and um, you like things the way they used to be in cars and motorbikes and so forth, because things were so simple, you know, you would uh, you'd uh, turn a dial and something would happen. Very mechanical, everything was still mechanical in the 90s. And, uh, you know, I'm talking about stuff like this, you know, like all these dials and things like that. Your cup holder, you'd have to push and it'd come out, that sort of thing. Everything was mechanical. You know, your air conditioning, you'd have to, you know, push the buttons or turn the dial, physically turn the dial, because that's the way it was. But, you know, these days, um, when I compare cars, we have a 2015 model Hyundai Santa Fe. Beautiful car, absolutely beautiful car. Um, it's a 2.2 turbo diesel. It tows it, it's great on fuel it's so comfortable it is it's it's a limousine in my book um you know heated seats cooled seats the sunroof you name it but what really gets up my goat is all the digital stuff like to change the clock on this old subaru all you had to do was twist this little stick sitting out there and your clock would just start rotating and change and you'd let it go and it'd stop on the dial. N not so with the Hyundai and other uh, similar cars that have got digital screens and displays. Um, you know, Apple compatible, all that sort of stuff. It takes me um, three, times the, th three times the amount of time to set the clock in that car than it does on this one, you know. And the same with setting the um, climate control. You know, you got to take your eyes off the road, all that sort of stuff. It's just terrible. You know, it's like you, you just reach out and you push a button. Dang, bang, bang, twist, twist. Done. Do I sound like I'm whinging? Great, I am. That's why I have this car. This car here, little Subaru here, the 1999 model Liberty. It's the two litre virgin version. And uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And that's the reason I keep it. This was my son's car. And I bought it off him for, you know, peanuts. And uh, it's done 300,000 kilometres. It's never missed a service. People say, why don't you update? And I said, I don't want to. I tell them I don't want to. Because I don't want to be stuck with all the digital crap that they've crammed into cars that takes you three times the amount of time to get through by the time you push the buttons you go into this screen and another screen and then another screen oh my god it defeats the purpose look if you disagree with me or you agree with me leave a comment for god's sake you know i'd like to know that i'm not the only one that thinks this way but the reason i keep this car is because of that reason you know i push the buttons and I turn that because that's on red there and I know that. You know, it's just so simple. And I think we're losing that now. We're starting to get too complicated in cars. Lots of people can't do the digital stuff. I can, I can get around it, but it just annoys me. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you ever get a chance to get onto a good little Subaru like this one, grab it because they are fantastic cars. Bye for now.